friends, welcome back to another episode of Tic Tac Tot Story Time with me, Steffi. How are you? I hope you are doing well and healthy wherever you are. In today's book, we are going to learn about one of the most important parts in our body. Can you guess what it is? Yes, that's right. We are going to learn about our brain as we read your fantastic elastic brain. Please enjoy the story. Your fantastic elastic brain. Stretch it, shape it by Joan Diak, PhD. Illustrated by Sarah Ackley. What does your brain really do? Does it fill the space between your ears? Hello in there. All I see is pink stuff. Well, yes, but your brain can use so much more. Your brain helps you think and remember. Good kitty. And name what you see and what you hear. It lets you move your body and feel both touch and emotions. Your brain does all the things that make you you. Like spread foods, favorite word is elbow, ping pong champ, she's so unique, knows global landmarks, good at science, enjoys reading pirate books, my favorite word is food. Greetings earthlings, welcome to planet Oregon. Hey, I had that same dream. The brain controls everything you do, everything you think, everything you feel, even everything you dream. So what is your brain? Is it a muscle? No, the brain is an organ in your body. It's made up of cells and tissue. The brain has many parts that do all kinds of different jobs. Cerebrum, hippocampus, prefrontal cortex or PFC, amygdala, and cerebellum. Wow, that pink stuff is busy. Cerebrum. The cerebrum is the largest part of your brain. It helps you think and speak. I think, therefore I am. That's deep. Cerebellum. The cerebellum is a small part at the back of the brain that helps your muscles to coordinate your movement and your balance so that you can walk, ride a bike, or play tag. I can walk and chew gum. Cool. Prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex or PFC for sure is the part of your brain behind your forehead. It lets you make plans and decisions. Mystery meat or secret soup? Mmm, decisions. Amygdala. The amygdala is a tightly packed group of cells deep within the center of the brain that controls your emotions. Excited, angry, embarrassed, frightened, sad, happy. Hippocampus. The hippocampus is at the center of your brain. It works like a file cabinet to help you store and find memories. Found it. Chase. Neurons. Neurons are everywhere in your brain. They are tiny brain cells that make electrical signals to send messages to other cells in your body, telling them what to do. Amygdala means almond. I can see how it got that name. When you were born, you were very little. Your brain was small and not so strong. As you get older, your body grows and gets stronger. As part of your body, your brain grows and learns to do new things. And you can make your brain do even more. Your brain grows very fast during the first 10 years of your life. This is the magic decade when you can help your brain grow faster and be more powerful. Just like lifting weights helps your muscles get stronger, learning new things strengthens your brain. You can give your brain a good workout by trying to learn many different things.
like elastic bands that stretch when you pull them, or that you don't do very well, even things that are hard at first, or that you don't like to do, get easier when you quit trying. Nice kick. Think about the first time you've played soccer. You probably couldn't kick the ball or make many goals, but as you kept going the practices, you learned more about the rules of the game and followed your coach's directions. The muscles in your legs and feet got stronger, your movements were more coordinated, and you could run farther and faster. Learning more and practicing what you learned let you play better and have more fun. Practice really does make perfect, or at least much better. Even when you make a mistake when you're learning something new, hmm, nothing yet. Poof, abracadabra, you are still training your brain. Sazam, keep trying. Hocus pocus. You will remember that mistake and try something else until you get it right. Making mistakes is one of the best ways your brain learns and grows. If you aren't willing to risk being wrong, you won't take the chances that stretch your elastic brain. You can stretch the part of your brain that controls your feelings too. If you are frightened about taking a risk, like learning to swim, finding the courage to put your face in the water stretches your amygdala. It will remind you that you overcame your fear, so you will be braver the next time something scares you, like diving into the water. Learning something new causes the brain to grow more connections among the neurons. With more connections, the neurons can send and receive more messages. These connections help to stretch a part of your brain and make it more elastic so that it can hold more information and ideas. How does the brain stretch and grow? Neuro means that the word is its part of has something to do with the brain. A sculptor molds shapes or carves strings out of clay or wood or stone. So you shape your brain when you make it bigger by adding new things you know and can do. You are a neuro sculptor. How did you do that? Neurons, my feathered friend. In the same way that the muscles in your body work together when you want to lift a heavy object or kick a ball, the different parts of your brain work together when you're learning something new. When you learn something new, you're building on what you have already learned. The amygdala makes you want to learn to play the piano. The cerebrum helps you decide to practice. The cerebellum calls up the memory of watching and listening when your piano teacher showed you how to play a new piece of music. Then, your cerebellum sends messages through neurons to the muscles in your wrists, hands, and fingers so that you can hit the right notes. The next time you play that piece of music, the parts of your brain and body will know how to work together, and you will play the song more easily. The brain that makes you you really is an amazing organ. It controls what you think, do, feel, and remember. Your brain is growing very fast during your first 10 years of life, and now we know that you can help it grow. When you try hard to learn something new, connections grow from neurons and attach to other neurons. Then your brain can send messages faster, making part of your brain bigger and stronger. Making mistakes really helps you learn, because your brain keeps trying new things and stretching until you figure out the answer to your problem. You are shaving a more elastic brain when you learn new things that build on what you already know.
The more different kinds of things you learn and think about, the more you can learn, know, and enjoy. The harder you try without giving up, the more you will learn. You really can train your brain to be fit and strong and to keep stretching and growing throughout your whole life. And that is the end of the story. Certainly, from this book, we can learn that we ourselves can grow and stretch our own brain. My reading friends, our brain is very important and crucial to our body. If you like this kind of story, please give a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our channel to hear other special stories from me. See you in the other story.